What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the rainbow project in my ball python collection. Rainbow is a recessive trait, meaning you need two copies of it to see the visual. In the single uh, gene copy, sometimes you can see a little luminescence in the snake, and it kind of looks a little different than just a normal, but to see the visual rainbow, which is a, you know, it's probably some sort of a T-positive albino. Um, to me, it's more of a cross between a T-positive and T-negative because it has, a lot of times you'll see red eyes with the rainbows. Some of them don't have quite the reddest of eyes, but the more genes you stack on them, like if you throw butter or, or lesser in there, if you throw hypo in there, it lightens the eyes up a lot more. To me, it's a better T-positive than all the other ones out there. And I love Ultramelon, I love Monarch, I work with them. But rainbow is just different. It looks like a, it has like the coloration of banana. It has more purples and yellows in there and oranges. And then as it gets older, it changes, but it always stays super clean. And it always has, it doesn't blur out like banana does. It doesn't get spots, it stays very clean. And so to me, it's got a lot of potential. There's not a lot of people working with it right now. And I think that it's gonna be a very big gene in the future. I've produced some really spectacular uh, snakes combinations. That I, one that I call the ultraviolet, which is my Enchi hypo super hurricane which i just proved out was super hurricane this year uh rainbow beautiful snake what tremendous crazy purples it has and just interesting you know very very complicated pattern from the super hurricane in there and i want to make more of those definitely and i i potentially will this year but i want to take this uh, project to the next to the next level and you're going to see some of the next level stuff that we have planned for the future so stay tuned let's take a look <laughs> You guys know I love tortoises and I have my uh, two albino uh, sulcata tortoises that I'm trying to figure out how to build them in outdoor enclosure. But there was a zoo in Switzerland that produced, you know, one of my other favorites is Galapagos tortoises and I, they're just too expensive. I, I can't get myself to buy them because I'm not really a tortoise breeder or anything like that. I'm kind of like just a tortoise enthusiast, you know. So the Galapagos are awesome, but there was a zoo in, in Switzerland that actually produced spontaneously an albino uh, offspring from one of the Galapagos. If you know, Galapagos tortoises are really, really black and dark. And then out of one of the eggs hatched this random albino. It's so cute. I'll put some video up of it. I mean, spectacular. I'm, I'm like, oh, only I had that, right? I'll, I'll just give up everything. No, I wouldn't give up everything. But it, it is pretty cool that we're going to possibly now, hopefully they'll be able to you know, grow that up and, and breed it in 20 years, <laughs> however long it takes. Hopefully, we'll, in my lifetime, we'll be seeing a lot of Galapagos tortoises that are albino. That'll be really cool. Great zoo exhibits because they get really, really big. So I love to see spontaneous stuff pop up in people's collections. It, it gives us hope that we all have that lottery ticket somewhere in our collection, isn't it? Makes it fun. All right, just wanted to show you guys a little update on the Rainbow Project. This uh, female I produced in 20, so she's uh, two years old. She hasn't been the greatest eater. She just started eating again. This was what I thought to be an ultraviolet. I think she's going to be the hypo enchi hurricane rainbow. I don't think she's two copies of the hurricane gene like, the, like her brother is my ultraviolet who I've been breeding and who I proved that actually that's super hurricane this year. Um, she's gonna probably not gonna be ready to breed till not this spring fall but the one after that. Once again, she's a slow eater. She's got the age in her, but she's just, you know, she hasn't been, been slamming the food. Once again, she's got those purples. That hurricane and the rainbow together are incredible. They, it's a, that's the magic. Hypo, hurricane, and of course, Enchi and rainbow together. It's just really, really good. But you can tell her her hurricane pattern is not quite as extreme as the brother. I'll show you the brother in a second. Uh, a breeding male. And, but this shows you the potential of the rainbow project. Really, really beautiful female. All right, here's the male, ultraviolet. You can see, look at, look at all those, that hurricane and that crazy contrast that see that that's super hurricane so he's the same as his sister he's hypo and she one copy super hurricane rainbow you can see much more purples and a lot more pattern here he's uh he's in with a girl right now who's probably already ready to lay but hedging my bets a little bit I, I always throw the males in just for good measure you know you never know 
This is a uh, Orange Dream clown that is probably pastel too. I'm calling it pastel Orange Dream clown. And obviously we want to try to get rainbow into clown, so this is going to be the best way we can do it. I think this is a nice combination. I think Orange Dream would work really well with rainbow too, so I haven't seen that yet. That's something I haven't put in there, so we'll see. We'll see how this, uh, we'll see if this combination takes. I'm excited about it though. Hopefully we'll see this girl lay. I actually produced this female a couple years ago, so it's kind of exciting when you get to see the girls that you actually produce actually start laying eggs of their own. That's, you know, and this, this year we got a bunch of those girls that I produced laying eggs, so that's super exciting. So let's leave them together. Right, now th this rainbow was produced in 21, so this is the year after the other one. <laughs> this, this one's almost as big as the other one I just showed you. This has no hurricane in it. This is super hypo, excuse me, hypo super enchi rainbow. Beautiful combination. And you know what? It keeps changing and getting better and different. When it was first born, it had a lot of purples in it. Now it's got a lot of, you know, contrasty yellows and oranges and really nice female. Actually, I think, I don't know if I have this one or the other one next. I think this one's the one for sale on Morph Market. I have, this is the last one I'm offering up. I sold one, I'm offering one more. I think someone's actually interested in buying this one, so he might be sold, she might be sold actually. And here's another one that I think I'm keeping. This is, I think the same, this is Super Enchi Hypo. I'm saying Pastel Rainbow. I think this one has Pastel in it, which is because it's a little lighter than the other one. So we can get it to open up a little. This one has like a reddish eye. This one has kind of a reddish eye too. So, oops, came right after the camera. But both sisters putting on tremendous size. Pablo's got these things eating like, like crazy animals. <laughs> crazy, crazy wild beasts. And that's what we like. All right, here's another beautiful rainbow. Now this one I'm, I'll be keeping just because I don't really even know what's in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Butter Enchi and rainbow. I know it's rainbow. The question is, it's possible super enchi. I'm not sure about that. There could be hurricane in here too. It's very hard. Butter, which is like lesser, really wipes out the hurricane swirls. And it could be, it might even be visual hypo, this one. So I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. That's why I can't sell it. And the reason why it's got such light eyes is what's making me believe maybe this hypo and butter in here together, which is creating this, this really, really nice, almost albino-ish looking snake that's not albino, so. It's cool when you get a red-eyed snake that doesn't have uh, a lack of pigment. This still has pigment and contrast. It's a very interesting looking snake and it keeps changing as it's growing. I'm gonna show you the sister to this one to show you exactly how, and this, because this other one might even be crazier. All right, now this rainbow is also, same thing, I'm pretty sure, butter, and she probably super and she, because it's really clean. Um, I think this one might have hypo in it and it's definitely rainbow with the red eyes. Also, the pattern is really crazy looking. I think this one has hurricane. This one probably has hurricane if I had to guess, if I'm a betting man and I know my hurricane. And the other one doesn't have hurricane. Because you can see like where the hurricane swirls would be and they're all set up here with these alien heads. So I'm gonna call this one probably, like I said, a hurricane. And I'm gonna keep both of them though because I think they're both really cool. Rainbow does, I think Rainbow's just got so much more to offer an albino because albino takes too much out. I think it's a better, lighter version of like a like a T. Like the Ultramels are really cool. Monarchs are cool. All those T positive lines are cool, but they they don't take enough out. You know, with the rainbow you get the the, the purples and stuff like that in there. And so I think this I really like it, and not many people are working with it. To me, this is just some kind of a really interesting project. And if you guys are interested, I do have a lot of. 66% headers from two years ago. So they're, they're females that are grown up. They're very reasonably priced. I have males too that are really reasonably priced. You can go for those. I actually even have some males that I haven't listed yet, but that I'm gonna be putting up for sale. They're my breeder males that were hets. Since now I have visuals, I'll probably be selling some of the hets that are 100% het for rainbow and then we have stuff in the incubator that's going to hopefully produce us some more visuals and 100% heads this year. So if you guys are interested in getting into the project, you know, always hit me up and I can talk to you about potential pairings and male and female pairs I can sell you. 
All right, here's a really nice uh, breeder male that I'll probably be putting up for sale. This is a Hypo Anchi Butter Pastel Het Rainbow. And this boy has produced those really cool visuals I just showed you. So he's proven breeder several times over and he's got some good size, a great eater. And this could be a great potential for someone to get involved with this uh, rainbow project. You know, maybe pick up that visual female and this male and you produce some really cool stuff. You never know. But this is how it happened. I did it all with hats. My, my original visual rainbow died, and so I only had the hets from all the babies that he produced, and I kept everything back. I didn't sell a single rainbow. Everything was 100% het, and I kept everything. I had like three clutches worth, and that's what I used to build my rainbow, uh, visual rainbows. It took me a while, obviously, because it took me a couple of years to grow the hets out, but that's what I did. And you know what? It was worth it. I got some really good stuff, so I'm really excited about it. Here's a beautiful 2020 male that's available. This is a Hypo Butter uh, Enchi. I don't think he's super Enchi. He's possible super Enchi, but I think he's just a single copy Enchi. Possible Hurricane, and I think he is Hurricane. You can see the swirls on the side there. Remember what I told you about Butter unraveling the, the Hurricane? So I'm calling him Hypo Butter Enchi Hurricane, and he has 66% head rainbow. Very reasonably priced. You know, you, it'll give you the ability to potentially hit that ultraviolet because he's got hurricane in him and if he proves out to be het rainbow which i think he will because you know the het version of the rainbow does have a little bit of a luminescence to it and this this snake has it it seems like there's just something like really bright and really different about him and i don't know something beyond what his genes say that they should be and he's he's not happy that i'm filming that's for sure He's available on Morph Market, I'm pretty sure. And here's an awesome female to, to pair with him. This is a, what I believe to be a super Enchi disco, possibly. That's 100% head hypo. And it's 66% head rainbow. So this female is, is gorgeous. And I think she will do really well with that male I just showed you. And you can produce some really nice babies, especially because you get the hurricane in there. This one also, if you just look at look at the those those speckles, that's that's het rainbow right there. That het rainbow makes like little flakes of interesting like luminous color pop up throughout the snake, and that's what, at least what I've witnessed and what um, the originator of the rainbow project, the Susquehanna uh, reptiles, also told me he sees that as well. So this, this female is probably very likely Het Rainbow, but she's priced at the 66 Het Rainbow price, so check her out. Or hit me up and I can put a pair together for you guys if you guys are interested in getting into this uh, project. All right, here's a nice breeding. Um, I'm going to show you my other visual male rainbow from, that I've, uh, been, from 2020 that I've been breeding. And this is my Hypo Hurricane. Disco Rainbow. And I actually think he's super edgy, to be honest with you. But, uh, and he's 100% head hypo. So he might even be visual hypo. I don't know. He's way different than looking than the ultraviolet is. And not sure why, but he, he never, he just looks different. And it could just be that he has a single copy of the hurricane in him. And I'm breeding him to a super Enchi Disco Hypo 66% Het Rainbow. Now, obviously, we're gonna try to, I'm trying to prove this girl out. She was the only 66% head I held back from that clutch because she was so exquisite looking. You know, I mean, she's just got so much going on here. I mean, this is, there's so much saturation of color here that I really, wanted to get these guys together and uh, they seem to be enjoying liking each other. So this is the first time I'm breeding her. She finally got up to size. And it's funny because her sister is that first ultraviolet that I showed you and she's way bigger and she's breeding and the sister is not even close because this girl is a way better eater. So we're gonna leave these guys alone and kind of end the rainbow 
video today with, uh, with these guys. If you guys were watching my videos a little earlier this year, you'll know what I'm showing you right now is a hurricane pastel, possible Enchi, probably just pastel hurricane. It's triple head for Desert Ghost, Rainbow, and Hypo. And this is the future of my Rainbow projects, or at least one of the futures. Trying to get Desert Ghost into this crazy, crazy ultraviolet um, that I bred to my Desert Ghost. And so we're starting, once again, from scratch with triple heads. But that's okay, because... They're all hurricane triple heads, which is great because the father was a super hurricane, as you guys know. And we're going to hopefully produce some really, really cool stuff. I don't know what we're going to hit, triple head to triple head. But right now, uh, I'll probably make, this is another one of the babies, this is a male. I'll probably make one or two pairs available because I can't keep everything. I have a, bu I have a bunch of them, you know. I produced, you know, about eight of these. So I'm thinking maybe two pairs will become available. If anyone wants to get into this project, take it to the next level. Obviously, this is going to be a little more expensive because these are something that no one's produced. And you know me, I'm very fully transparent. I don't hide all my projects like some people do until they actually produce a visual. And then they're like, look what I produce. I like to give you guys the whole story leading up to it. So it's more exciting when we actually hit something. Let's see if we can pull out another one. Everything is hurricane. So that's, that's the great part. They're all hurricanes, visual hurricanes. And some of them are, are pastel, some of them are enchi too, but they're all, and then they're all triple head for rainbow, desert ghost, and hypo. So here it is, the future of the rainbow project. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. I hope you enjoyed today's video of the rainbow project and all the rainbows I produced and uh, some of the potential for the future here. And uh, if you want to get involved, I do have, I have, you know, females that are, have two years on them already. And I have males that have two years on them. I have a uh, ex-breeder het rainbows you can grab a hold of. You know, I want to, I want to get more people involved in this project now so that you guys can take your ideas and take that to the next level. Because I think we're going to see some amazing, amazing stuff in the rainbow project in the coming years. And once again, we all work on multiple projects, but this is one of the ones dear to my heart. You know, I, I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I had bought a visual female, I paid a lot of money for it. I bred them to, you know, three or four uh, females, produced double hets, or produced hets, I should say, and the male died on me. And so I really was only left with what I produced, the babies. And thank God I saved, I held back every single baby and Luckily for me, the females and the males bred, and, I, and that's how I got my, the, all my rainbows, my visuals, from, that, from the, the offspring from that one male and who never made it past that one year that I had him. But that just goes to show you, you know what? It was meant to be, I guess, and it is what it is, and so now I'm, I can take it to the next level. And the good thing is I, everything was outcrossed because I think the person who, was, you know, who I got the male from, was, was, there was a lot of inbreeding in there you know, to keep it pure as far as producing a lot of visuals because he was wanted to make them available to the public. And then I actually had to outcross him and then I had all those babies that were hats. And so I think it made it a stronger line of, uh, of rainbow. And so that, in the, in the end, it, it worked out well. So if you guys want to get involved, let me know, hit me up. You know, I'm always open to talking and giving you guys ideas. For now though, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.